Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about the best carry gun that nobody talks about. And there are several great handguns out there that are not Glock, Beretta, CZ, Canik, Taurus. You know, there, there are some great handguns out there that nobody talks about. And I would be willing to bet that you forgot all about this one. It's a Walther PPQ subcompact. This is not the one I'm referring to in this video, but I just want to make the point that we completely forgot about this. It has a three and a half inch barrel and it embodies everything the full size PPQ has with only a 10 round magazine, two finger contact, and that sweet Walther trigger that so many people love with the short reset. Same takedown, same overall feel, just a smaller handgun that you completely forgot about. Admit it to me, people. Admit it. Or how about this one? You may never even have seen this. It's a Grand Power Q100. And the smaller brother is the Q1S, which is the size of the PPQ subcompact. But I've been hearing all this stuff about the Rock Island 5.0 and how great that trigger is. And when I checked that out, I said, I already have a handgun with that same trigger right there. It is so light with the reset right there, but it is so light. It doesn't even have a wall. It's got a little bit of an over travel, but the Q100, a great handgun, the Q1S, just as fine. And nobody talks about it. How about this one? People used to talk about this one, the... Bursa BP9CC and once again a very lightweight trigger pull with a short reset some of the Bursa models have some of the shortest resets right there that you have ever seen or felt and the BP9CC came out the gate with is a hit probably had to be 10 years ago and I remember I said one day I'm going to get that. But the handgun I'm actually referring to that I consider the best carry gun that nobody talks about. Is right here. The IWI Masada 9S, otherwise known as the Masada Slim. And this is the ORP optic, I'm sorry, yes, optic ready pistol. And it has a direct mount with an RMS footprint. Here I have a Holosun EP9 carry. Excellent green dot. It really is. But this embodies many of the features that people want in a carry gun. Let's start with the magazine. It comes with two 13 round magazines. They also make 10 round mags for the states that are less free. And it's slim because that grip. Now if I compare it with the PPQ subcompact on the right, you'll see how slim the grip is on the left with the Masada 9S. It's very slim. It's got some nice grip texturing on there. The magazine release on the left-hand side can be switched over. It does have some forward slide serrations, taller sights, and a great flat trigger that breaks right at five and a half pounds. And that's what you're looking at with a reset right there. Very short. 3.4 inch barrel. It's, it's a great handgun, and it shoots incredibly well. Now, people say, well, how much is it? I know I'm going to get that. How much is it? The MSRP on this is 450 bucks, and it offers a ton of gun for the money. Now, I have a lot of rounds through this, and it has performed exceptionally well. Let's go ahead and check that out. So if you're looking for something that is not so mainstream like the Canic line which has grown incredibly strong or Glock that is always popular, people want the latest Glock, what they have to offer, the Sig P365. This line has grown incredibly strong as well as the Springfield Armory Hellcat. What they've done with this has been incredible. But they're very popular. This one, the 9S, is a little 
off mainstream. I don't want to say it's off the grid because I know there are a lot of people out there who own them. They love the trigger pull. They love the 13 round magazines, the direct optic mount, the taller sights, the reliability, easy disassemble. It just offers a lot for the money with an MSRP of $450. The 3.4 inch barrel, I've shot it enough to tell you with confidence it's pretty reliable and I want to know if you still own this and if you still talk about it because I think it's a great handgun. I love owning it. I love shooting it and I think it certainly performs well above what they're asking with the MSRP. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.